Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wassalatu Wassalamu ala khairul muslimin Muhammadin al nabi al-Ummi Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Amma ba'd yakulullahu ta'ala Fil Quran al-Kareem Inna allaha wa malaikatuhu yusanun ala nabi Ya ayuha al-adina amanu Salu alayhi wa salimu taslima Allahumma salli ala sayyidina mulana muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam My dear brothers and sisters My name is Abdul uh, They call me Imam Abdul Ali Musa I'm the Imam at Masjid al-Islam For those of you who does do not know me or our community, we are not out here begging for zakat or sadaqa. We are out here because we have made a stand against Zionism. We have made a stand against Americanism. And we would like your help to assist in that. At our masjid, you will not hear a cozy, easy-going kutbah. But while the Muslims are being murdered all over the world, in Palestine, by the day. In Yemen, by the day. Richest Arab country in the world, supporting the murder of the poorest Arab country in the world, Yemen. The Zionists beating the fat off the heads of Palestinians. We're not going to come in here and have a nice sweet cookbook and don't say nothing about it. And then for you Muslims that walk by us and smile like we're doing something wrong, no, it ain't us doing nothing wrong. When the, when the Hadith tell you if you're a Muslim brother, being oppressed, you should support them. That's what we support. If you walk in and out of here and not pay attention to any of the crimes that the Zionists and the Americans are doing to the Muslims, then that means that maybe something is not wrong with us because we're out here. And we're not afraid of no Zionists. You, ought to, you would be surprised. Like, how do you think we can talk against the Zionists like we are? Because we're not afraid of them. You don't have to stand out here because we're out here. But we would like for you to help us against the Zionists. The Zionists have billions of dollars, right? So we're not out here begging for your please help us to pay our bills. That ain't why we're out here. We're out here because we have to build institutions. The Hadith, you know it. If you see injustice being done, stop it with your hand. If you can't speak out about it, well, that's what we're doing. We're speaking about injustice. You can't turn on your television. I don't care what channel it is without seeing the Muslims being bombed, murdered, and killed. The Muslims, your brothers and sisters, and half of them are being killed in the countries where you're from. If you're from Africa, you got Boko Haram robbing and killing and murdering people, right? If you're from the Arab world, you got the richest Arab country in the world bombing and killing the poorest Muslims in the world. Okay, by the way, we're gonna be out here next week. So we want y'all all to go home, fill up your pockets full of money, and next Friday you come here, you help us. Don't walk by here grinning like, oh, it's something wrong with us. It ain't nothing wrong with us. If you can walk into that kutba with Muslims being killed all over the world and they ain't said a word about it, something's wrong with you. It ain't nothing wrong with us. If you can walk in there and the Muslims are being killed all over the world, yes, and you ain't got nothing to say about it, and you walk by us like some of our brothers do grinning, it ain't nothing wrong with us. There's something wrong with you. What about your Islam? Who are you scared of? What government do you work for? Right? We work for the government of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
We're not afraid of no Zionists. You should help us. So when you go out next week, we want you to come back, fill up your pockets with money, and then fill these up. We're going to be here again next week. And please don't come by here grinning like there's something wrong with us. And you went in there and listened to a quick bar and they didn't say nothing about protecting and rescuing the Muslims. Not one single word, did they? Not only it happened here, anywhere you went to in America, they said nothing about the situation of Muslims. But you're going to be in there. Most of y'all read the average. Some of y'all, the average is your language. You can read what it says. You know what it says, right? You know what it says. You know what it says better than I do. You know that Masjid al Aqsa is that rule of the human You know that we're not against uh, Jews or anybody. We, you, the first Kibla was the Kibla of the Bani Israel, right? Y'all know all of that. But you walk by here, like, oh, they're out there begging. We ain't not out here begging. We out here asking you to support yourself, to support Islam. Another thing, if you're afraid, if the leadership in America is afraid, well, help us. We're not afraid of Zionists. Right? Now, I want you to think about it. We're out here talking against Zionism and Americanism. Now, what do you think the Zionist American government do to us when you're not looking? Huh? What do you think that they do with us when you're not looking? Right? But we stand up anyway. That's a privilege. It's a privilege for us to stand up for the hot here in America. It's an honor. Oh, okay. Walk on by. Like ain't nothing happening. I hope nothing ever happens to y'all. I'll tell you what. I, I hope nothing ever happens. You know why I hope never happens to you? Because if you turn your back on the other believers, eventually the other believers may turn their back on you. That's not what Islam says. Islam says a believer is a security for other believers. He don't leave him alone to be oppressed by others, but he supports him. He protects him. So the Muslim is a protection for another. And you know the criteria for an imam, what does it say? A criterion for an imam is one that everybody does. The imam is a shield to protect you, isn't that right? So, it looks like it ain't too many imams in America because they're not a shield, they're not protecting anybody. They're protecting their job. They're protecting their living room and their bedroom. They're protecting their company. And for the Muslims to walk by us standing out here, it ain't that cold. Just like we're doing something wrong. Like we're doing something wrong. We're standing up for Islam. Look at the brother jumping. There was a little noise right there. He jumped up almost over here. That's how the Zionists got us, right? Got us scared. We jump in there, everybody. You ought to see Just a little noise went on right there. He almost jumped in my lap. I'm telling you, it's, it's strange stuff. Muslims, I don't want to say this. Y'all are sorry, but you got to get yourself together. That's why the people run over us. Because we turn our back. Everybody's back is turned. Right? You turn your back on me. What about the Muslims overseas? Your relatives. Right? They're being bombed and killed and murdered right now today. And you walk by like, oh, that's one of those crazy Muslims. <laughs> I don't think I'm crazy. I don't think I'm misguided. And I don't think the Muslims standing out here with these boxes are misguided. I think the Muslims who are avoiding their duty and responsibility, I don't know, I'm not going to say they're misguided. They're believers. 
Dear brothers and sisters, if we don't stand up for each other, nobody in the world is going to stand up for us. As Muslims, as black people, right? You might wonder, what is that black man standing up there and talking about us? It's because we know what oppression is. We hear it from here in America. Why do you think we are here talking to you, trying to get you to stand up for Islam? Just like standing up for black people. If you don't stand up for other people, they're going to burn you and kill you and murder you. And drive all over you. And you walk past, like you don't know what you're doing, that's what they're going to do. They're going to enjoy beating you upside the head. Come on. Come on, if you don't stand up for yourself in America, you're in trouble, right? In America and the Zionists, they're not going to give you nothing. You got to stop them. It says if you see injustice, stop it with your hands. You can't speak out about it. And if you can't do that, feel bad about it, but that's the weakest kind of thing. So we're taking the second option. We're speaking out about it. Yes, that's what we're doing. We're speaking out about it. And we want to thank all of you wonderful believers for being so conscious of your duty. And we want to congratulate you on your standing up for your brothers and sisters. So we congratulate you for your wonderful work of standing up for Islam. <laughs> We're standing out here for our brothers in Palestine, our brothers in Yemen, our brothers all over the world. Everywhere you go, the Muslims are being oppressed, right? If you're in Africa, if you're in Asia, if you're anywhere else, right? That's why we are here. what we want you to do. Alhamdulillah, right there. We want you to stand up for Islam. But standing up for Islam means standing up for your family, standing up for your wives, standing up for your children. Hey, why not? Isn't your wives and children worth standing up for? Huh? Isn't your wives and children worth standing up for? Okay, dear believers, we're going to give y'all a few more minutes, so we want y'all to run on out of that and come out here. Can run on out 
and put something in these boxes so you can help build the Imam Tufel Command Center. What is the Imam Tufel Command Center? It is a center that is sponsored by us where we will continue to fight Zionist Americanism and anti-Islam on a higher level. If we get organized better, we won't have to be... We won't have to be standing out here jumping up and down and harassing you. You have enough trouble already. already. A lot of us have trouble just being reminded of the struggle. So, any of y'all can hear now, we got lots of So, ain't no way you can get away unless you got a circular methodology of trying to escape helping yourself. I'm going to move toward a close. Remember, I'm coming back next week. This is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to go home.
that be? I'm going to close with this. If you see Rome, stop it with your hand. Military power. If you can't speak out about it, we don't have all of the facilities that we kind of could use here in America. But you know that rag they call the Constitution has something in it that's called freedom of speech, press, religion, and association. Now, that's a lie because you can say what you want, but you know how much money? Do you know what it's going to cost you? Do you know how much victim we have around our center? <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. You can't prove it out. You can, but it's going to cost you. We're willing to pay the price for the last 50 years, and we're going to keep on going and doing it, inshallah, until we die. So it's been nice talking to y'all, and we greet you with our greeting and peace. As-salam alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah.